yes, that they are supposed to be paid before the companies are leased out. Initially, it was supposed that before December last year, that is when the government had promised that they would have paid their arrears before the leasing process takes effect. What surprised us is that the farmers are the ones who are paid part of their arrears and it remained around 20% of their arrears. Workers were promised that they should wait for supplementary budget which will address the issue of workers' arrears. We have waited and unfortunately we have managed to access the proposed supplementary budget. And in that supplementary budget, what they have factored in is the balance that is supposed to be paid to the farmers, the 20%, and nothing to the workers. The president, when he was in Bungoma, in Nzoya, he promised the workers that he's going to pay the three months arrears to the workers. The other part should remain that they be paid alongside other people. And that was last year. Up to now, that three months has not been paid. Uh, I don't know if I can say, fortunately, the president will be in Bungoma celebrating Madaraka Day. We don't know what he's going to tell the workers because workers will be up in arms waiting for his comment after, unfortunately, he did not keep to his promise. So, as workers were planning to demonstrate in, in Bungoma on, 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 on June 1st, when the president will be there, at the same time, we want him to, to state to us why this thing is being applied discriminatively. Because workers are not being paid, yet the farmers are being paid. The management that did not pay farmers is the same management that did not pay workers. Therefore, you cannot apply this thing discriminatively. It all amounts to debts owed by the company to either to the farmers or to the workers, or to the suppliers and the rest. Leasing will not take effect until the workers are paid. And this is, uh, I can repeat it several times. We have a case in court, and what we'll do is just to activate that case, then we serve them with the orders not to conduct, not to proceed with the process of leasing until we are paid. And this is a fact that we cannot hide away from. So they must make sure that in this supplementary budget, they factor in arrears to the workers which is uh, totaling to around uh, three point something billion shillings. Which the figures they have, they took records of the workers, they know the amount that is owed to the workers. So there is no justification why they should keep on shelving the issues of workers as they concentrate only on farmers. We are bitter, we are not, uh, we are, we are not happy the way the government is handling this issue. Yeah.